Welcome to RP Hub. In this video, we'll discuss about UiPath Test Manager. UiPath Test Manager is helping organizations to manage all of their automated test cases into UiPath Test Manager. So we'll see in detail how we can use a complete overview about UiPath test manager so if you can see here the dashboard so dashboard is a very interactive part where we can see complete executions report which contains the filters on daily and weekly basis so if we have the executions done within that week we will be able to see the complete execution report here we can also see open defects if we have connected Jira accounts with UiPath test managers, then we can see the open defects available into UiPath test manager. What is the coverage of test cases which is showing in percent? Automation rate is 75. So, as of now, you can see I've added two projects one is UI Bank and second is SAP create supplier invoice we can add n number of projects totally depending on our licenses so here the latest execution is available for three and results we can see it passed or failed status and durations how much time this took to execute the process and we also have more so if you want to delete any test cases from the execution results we can simply delete it or even we can open test sets if the test sets are available so this is how dashboards will looks like this is our week so all the weeks uh, so as of now we are working in current week 46 attachments if we have any attachments we are able to see the attachment details any documentation which we want to add it here simply we'll click on add and just open the file and this documents will be added successfully so at any point of time we want to download this documents we will be able to easily download it even we can make the changes on their name and simply we'll delete these documents which is very simple enough now coming down to the requirements so we have seen the dashboards which contains the complete execution report even if we have the filters which is available and here we can see the more options and with the complete stats now in document sections you can see all the documents which is added here these documents contain some set of informations at any point of time we want to have a look about these documents we will be able to easily see it if we have tons of documents added into our test managers probably we can apply the filter and based on the filter we will be able to see the reports even we can update so if we want to update by me so this is the test case we want we have updated and these documents are available here even if you want to add any additional documents we can simply click here and select the document file and attach it details informations are available here so now in this overview sections we can also have latest test result and if you are opening this file which contains complete test data queue if we have added we'll see in test cases as of now we are looking into the documents if we want to create any other documents we will simply click on create documents just add test define the descriptions about the documents so i'm just writing documents and if you want we can add the label which we will use it for filter so this is test click on create and we have this documents created successfully now in terms of label you can see this test is added successfully so i can filter it out easily now we can create n number of n number of documents whenever it is required so this is how we can add see update and delete the documents whenever it is required we can also perform 
bulk operations on these documents like deletions and even adding the fields as well as labels removal of the label and clearing all the labels now if you want to download these documents into the excel file simply click on this download icon and our excel will be generated so here we have all the details available into the excel file which we can modify it edit it we can perform any operations which is required next is test cases so in test case sections we can create our test cases if we want to create the test cases simply click on create add the test case name test case one and here we can define the versions in which version this test case is lying here i have just wanted to write test case for demo and in the label sections we can add the appropriate label so this is how we can create our test cases so i'm just writing test here so this label will be added and click on create so when i want to filter it out these labels so i will simply click on automated or test so out of automated we can see all the automated test cases if i want to apply the filter on just test then i will apply the filter to see the result of added label studio projects if we have test projects ui bank demo and these all projects are available we can also apply the filter based on the project label so if i want to just filter out the test cases from test project and ui bank demo simply i will select this filter and extract this detail now latest results so if if you want to filter out with status of test cases we can also apply the filter like past fail and none so this is how updated by even we can apply the filter on updated by at any point of time i want to extract all these test cases i can simply click on download and i will have all the test case details like uh, project key name descriptions label created by so these all details will be downloaded into excel file if i want to see the detail about the test cases simply i will add here now in test case one i want to add the task that is assigned to requirement so i will simply click on any of the requirement this is the test which i have created inside the requirement and you can see this test case requirement will be added successfully in automation chunk we can add the status so this test case is not at automated so we can see this descriptions is not available and status is not automated in manual step we can also add manual steps as well even we can add through task capture v view diagram is not at available because we don't have any data available into manual step so in manual step we can define the descriptions expected behavior and clipboard data so these all details are required to be filled while writing manual steps now if we have any documentations available for these test cases we can also add it simply by selecting the document and these documents will be added successfully in detail sections we have all this detail about the test cases so this is the overview about test case inside the test case if we have multiple test results then probably we'll see all the test results will available here let me remove this now coming down to test sets so test sets are generally used for categorizing some sort of test cases into bucket or maybe grouping so here we have test sets uib1 that is for ui banks test cases and if i want to see the detail about this uh, test sets i can have the overview where i can see the total number of tests then execution finished results and even i can i if i want i will delete and create open test sets test cases i can see all the test cases which is added here in result sections we have all the results related informations documentation still not available but whenever it is required we can add for particular test sets details contain any information related to that test sets now test results so test results will show us 
how many times execution we have done and which all test cases we have selected so let's say i want to use test result uh, for execution done on 27th of july so here i have the data driven uh, development and here we can see all the test results even we can open test cases and within the test cases we can see the complete log about the execution results like assertion details logs execution details then affected requirement so these all details are easily available and we can fetch if any defect will arise in project settings we have all the assignment related information so this is how we can use uapa test manager by just clicking on or navigating on the ui and if at any point of time we want any things to be exported we can simply click on export to excel and we have excel ready with us so that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the thing if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching